A young mother with a life-threatening disease was running out of options. In today's Health Watch, Local 3's Connie Fellman shows us how doctors saved her life by washing her lungs. A rare autoimmune condition was slowly choking the life out of a 40-year-old mother of four. After months of unsuccessful treatments, doctors used a little-known procedure to restore her lungs to normal. The Kreider family was wrapping up an active Disney vacation in March of 2019 when Paula Kreider could no longer ignore her extreme shortness of breath. The day before we left to come back home, Caitlin said to me, Mom, your lips are blue. A nurse checked her blood oxygen level. Normal is a high of 90. Kreider's reading was 76. Ultimately, Kreider was hospitalized and diagnosed with a very rare autoimmune condition. PAP stands for pulmonary alveolar proteinosis. PAP is a condition that causes protein-filled fluid to block the lungs, slowly suffocating the patient. Their first thought was, I had to have a double lung transplant um, because I was so bad and I just kept getting worse. Instead, doctors at the Cleveland Clinic used a procedure called whole lung lavage, also known as lung washing. During the procedure, doctors attach one lung to a ventilator. Then they pump a saline solution into the other lung. They keep doing that liter and liter and liter and liter and liter and liter until the fluid coming out is the same color as the fluid going in, which is to say clear. Kreider was determined to fight the PAP without missing a beat. In fact, she completed her master's degree during a month-long hospital stay, graduating with a perfect 4.0. I am oxygen-free for right now. It's been amazing. PAP is considered an orphan or extremely rare disease, affecting one in every 100,000 people worldwide. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 3 News.